Hi everyone, my name is Sharon and welcome to my channel as I usher you into this new year. So God is saying that there are qualities that are going to be critical in you surviving and thriving in 2022. Firstly, the quality that you are going to need is to be spirit-led. So when you're spirit-led, it means that you are filled with the Holy Spirit. You are able to hear the voice of God. You are able to do things at the time when God says you must do it. You are able to do things at the time when God says you must do it. You are able to discern. So it's very, very important if you are going to survive and thrive in this year to have a relationship with the Lord so that He can fill you up with His Spirit so that you can hear His voice because people in the other years we have been deceived by the evil one we have been deceived by people so now if you no longer want to be deceived by anyone and want to hear directly from god it is important for you to be spirit led number two you are going to have to be resilient being resilient means that you are able to recover and rebound after challenges you are able to bounce back after challenges there are people also in the bible who went through various challenges and they were resilient. You can look at David. After he lost his child, he accepted that his child was God and then he went and ate. There was also Jacob. After his father-in-law tricked him, after he had worked so hard and his father-in-law tricked him, he still continued to work again and build wealth for himself. So some of you are still dwelling on your life losses you have lost so much and now you can't go forward again but God is saying that in order for you to survive and thrive in this year you will have to be resilient you will have to be a resilient person Number three, God is saying that you will have to be kind. In the Bible, the people that were kind, they got located by their destiny helpers. They got located by their spouses. You can look into the likes of your Rebecca's, your Abigail, and so many other people. And the women who accommodated the spies who received their blessings because of their kindness. So God is saying that if you are kind in this year you shall see you shall see the reward of being kind that's why also in his word in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 it says be kind to one another but when you are kind it does not mean that you have to be a pushover you still need to be led by the spirit and assess and test the spirit so fourthly God is saying that you will have to forgive because there is no person who is perfect and God is always forgiving you because you are always sinning. So you also need to forgive. And also if you read in his word in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31, it says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ forgave you. So Christ has forgiven you. So he also expects you to forgive the people who have wronged you and the people who are going to wrong you so but it doesn't mean that when you forgive it doesn't mean that when you forgive someone you have to let them into your life again so they can hurt you again or disappoint you again you can forgive them and listen to the holy spirit if it says that you should accept them back into your life or not some of the people you have to forgive them but keep your distance because your mental well-being is also very important so those were the four crucial things that God wanted me to share with you as you start 2022. May you be blessed in this year and may all your dreams and your goals and your desires come to life in the name of Jesus. Amen.